You talk uh, like you are actually just, you know, growing up. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It really is yeah. growing up. And we never had time to grow up, and be, cause we're too busy working all the time, so I think we definitely have grown up a little bit. And you're back in Sweden, where you've been so many times before. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. You are, on this record, you're Sweden. working with Swedish... And I think yeah, there, there's, Sava there's, there's, Sava and Karen. Sava and Karen. Yeah, yeah. Sava and, there's two, there's two songwriters from Sweden on this album, um, and three songs from, from them, two songwriters. I think, you know, with, with this album, we kind of really wanted to kind of, you know, in a sense, we had gone down a very certain path for a very, very long time when it came to, to the music. We kind of wanted to step away from that a little bit and stop concentrating on a style, which, which I think a lot of people you know, when they heard Westlife, you know, it was, a very si it was a very similar style that we had for a very long time. And we just wanted to stop looking for that style and just start looking for great songs and forget about the style of song that they were. And um, I think that's, that's what we tried to do with this album, you know, and um, that's, that's where we seem to have found it. You know, we, went, we started in America, we went from America to Sweden to the UK, you know, all across Europe to all the songwriters. And just you know, had a collection of great songs and just picked the best ones. You know, I think a lot of time people get carried away in who writes the song and who's involved in the song. And we tried to kind of like, you know, take ourselves away from that and just go, this is a great song. Don't care who wrote it, it's a great song. It's about half American and then about a quarter Swedish and a quarter UK. UK. Yeah. So it's like actually, and I think that's reflected because there's an Irish twist. Well, it's obviously... Where, where the, the where the twist? <laughs> Who's the Irish? <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's like, it's like, actually, I think if you listen what to that? the record, you can hear that a little bit. There is, like, kind of an international... It's like international, mature pop music. Yeah. Um, there's a little bit of American twist to it here and there. There's, like, a little bit of a Swedish twist to it here and there. And also, um, we've got, like, you know, more UK, European... Um, you know, I think that it's quite, like, rounded, you know? I think that... I'm running out of time, right? Okay, just... <laughs> Let me just sum it up a little bit. Uh, your relationship to Sweden? Sweden is like our third home, um, I suppose. But, you know, it's probably the, out of all the countries in the world, it's probably the country we spent, you know, our most time in after the UK and Ireland. So, um, you know, we've recorded a lot of our albums here. We started off our first ever recording session was in Stockholm. Um, we've been here an awful lot of times on tour every year promoting and stuff like that. And we've always had a very solid, in Scandinavia in general, we've had a very solid fan base, but especially Sweden. Um, you know, to come here and play the globe and stuff like that, and it's something that we want to do again. You know, we want to get back our fan base to where it was, and I think that's a lot of it is down to the music. The music has to be better than it was the last years, and we think this album is, you know, back to the quality of our first albums, um, which was when you know Stockholm and Sweden in general was very big for us. So, you know, we love Sweden. We we have a great relationship with Sweden, the fans, and it's always nice to come back to Stockholm for for promotion or for a TV show or whatever. Um, so hopefully the fans will like this album. We feel that it is right up their streets, so hopefully they will. A lot, of, a lot of places we go, we just kind of visit, but we've been in Sweden so much that, you know, it goes past just visiting there or doing some work and then flying to the next country. You know, we've lived in Sweden for like months, you know, at the start of our career. Um, you know, we've come back here to record for like, you know, weeks, two weeks here, three weeks here. Um, you know, we've, we've kind of lived a little bit of Sweden. We've had a good taste of what it's like and we really love it. I mean. You know, like I always think, like the fresh air in Stockholm and the water, and you know, we kind of know where the streets that we like to go and shop, and restaurants we like, and hotels we like to stay in, and stuff mm -hmm. like that. Um, so it's good, and you know, we know the fans as well. A lot of the fans have been following us since 1998, um, and we still see them, and we kind of know a lot of their names. Um, some of the record company people are, you know, presenters or whatever. We've had like great nights out with them. We've got drunk with them. We see them, you know, when we haven't, like this time around, we're probably going to see some of them again. It's going to be like, mm -hmm. all the memories come crashing home of mm -hmm. the good times we've had here, you know? And it's not just stuck on, we've um, been out, in, out to Gothenburg a few yeah. times. And yeah. Good stuff like that. We've, we've um, done some concerts there over the years. So Sweden as a whole has always been very good to us. You know, people here have always been very welcoming as well. And obviously with the talented songwriters that are based and lived here and are from here, uh, we've had a great work of relationship with those guys too. So yeah, Sweden would be in our top three countries in the world. It's good to see Andreas Carlson as well. We, we hooked up with him in America, oh. in Los Angeles, um, and sort of just had a bit of a catch-up and everything like that. So mm. it'd be nice to see him again because we're doing yeah. the Idol. We're doing the Idol soon, yeah. But uh, Idol is 4th oh, yeah. of December, yeah. Yeah, that's so true. That should oh. be good. Good. Sorry, I could talk for you like, or I could talk to you for like half an hour more at least. <laughs> but I think that we'll have to stop here. Can I just ask the last question? Uh, if you if you 
consider the years to end of experience that you have in the business and the last year that probably changed your point of view a little bit. Mm. Uh, what do you bring with you to the future? What do you think about um, the future? I think for us as a band, I think we are going to take our time with things a lot more. Mm. I think instead of as Mark said earlier on, kind of like churning out album after album, year after year. It's kind of like we really want to kind of hold it back, you know, and have quality over quantity. I think, you know, it's, it's a real case now for Westlife um, to kind of, you know, make sure that every album we release is the best album that we've released. Every tour that we do is the best tour. And to not just rush it and not just, you know, go through the motions, which is kind of like what we've been doing for the last few years. And I think that that's the way we're going to be happy as individuals, happy as a band, and the only way that we can probably go on as a band in the future. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you.